Hey guys, I'm going to do a review on the Xera AXV820. This is a Toyota Corolla 2005 CE. This model works with the 2003 through 2008 models. I'm going to do a quick review. I'm going to tell you the basic functions and for the DVD uh, player bypass. So let's say you're on a road trip and people want to watch a DVD on here. Um, the only way it'll work is if the parking brake is on. I'm going to tell you how to bypass that, and yeah, okay. So let's start this. Alright, so basically what we have here is volume, mode, which switches between tuner, front USB, SD card, and iPod, or Bluetooth. Right now I have it set to Bluetooth, you can put in a number and call people. It connects wirelessly to an iPhone or Android phone. Yeah, as long as it has Bluetooth, it can connect, even if it had Bluetooth 4.0. The user, whatever, it tells you that it's only been tested up to the iPhone 4S. I can tell you right now it works with the iPhone 5. It's right here. All I have to do is go in here, choose a song to play, like this one here. Oh, that's a gay song. Hold on. So I can just play whatever. Turn the volume up. Reality. So it plays fine. Sometimes also, in case you didn't, if you're wondering, it does work with the lightning cable. So that's really handy. It also works with Bluetooth on iPods as well. If you get a call, it'll automatically show up here and then just press the call button or decline button, depending on whatever, and it'll play through the speakers and has an internal mic. Next, I'm going to show you the tuner. The tuner is just FM, AM, it doesn't do HD, whatever. Uh, it just connects into your basic antenna in the car from the back. You see that front USB, you can set it to do front USB or rear USB. I'll show you what that is in a minute. Um, also the SD card slot is right here. If you have a micro SD, you'll need an SD card adapter to put that in. Uh, next is disk. I don't have, I actually don't have a disc in here, but it plays discs, it plays DVDs, and I'll demonstrate that in a little bit. So, now we're going to go to menu. I missed. Um, one problem I had with uh, Crutchfield's review of this is they're like, uh, uh, press it really hard. All you have to do is use like your fingernail, and you can just like hit whatever, like Bluetooth. They don't, you, they did a poor review on this. It, kind of pissed me off. So all you need is just a little bit of tap. Boom. See? Let me go back to menu. Uh, it does have camera capabilities. If you have a camera, like a reverse camera in the back of your car, uh, hit the camera and it'll pop up. Uh, also what's handy is it comes with this cable here. It's an AV cable. It plugs in directly right here. The front, it does video and um, audio so if you want you can do like PlayStation or something that doesn't require that much power sorry my dog's in the back seat he got excited because there's a dog running in the background anyways back to menu and go back to Bluetooth okay what I have here is V for Vendetta I just chose it because it was the first disc I saw anyways just pop it in up here and it will tell you put the parking brake on and do a series of steps. For a lot of... it'll also play the music as it's doing whatever. As for a lot of uh, DVD playing devices, stereo receivers, it will just be like, put the parking brake on and you're good to go. In which case you can just connect a the cable that's supposed to go to the parking brake, which is down here. Which is supposed to go to the parking brake and um, so you can hear it working. Um, see, it just won't play any video. So right here it says, engage the parking brake for one second, take it off, and then put it back on. See, that's its safety feature, so that you're not watching while you're driving and stuff. And I'm about to show you how to bypass that. So let's get into that. Alright, so I have it playing, 
parking brake is on, it doesn't really matter because I want to set it up through there. Basically what I have here set up is this switch, so I can just turn it on or off. I have it put through the growth box. So I'll switch it off, it'll give me the warning, hey, don't drive, put the parking brake back on. So I have the switch here, turn it back on, and it's set. So I can be like driving down the street, someone sitting in the passenger can watch the movie. So all you have to do is connect it to a ground, and you got your switch going on, and it'll just get from Radio Shack, see? On. See? It's not really, looks like anything. It's just a dark screen, because that's how the movie is. So yeah, that's how to do it. Hope you like my review, subscribe, and yeah.